Hello all, in this particular tutorial, we will learn about how to connect to Oracle database using tnsname.aura and listener.aura and we will cover more scenarios. If you have not seen my previous video on tnsnames.aura or listener.aura then I would suggest to watch that particular video because this is a continuation of that particular video. So whatever I'm going to talk in this video will be continuation of what I have covered in that particular tutorial. So if you don't understand the concept then probably you'll have to go back to that video and then come to this video. Now, the uh, what, what I wanted to explain is um, what I wanted to explain is the you can you can have you can have static registration in such a way that you can have same listener listening to the multiple databases so it is not re required to have same multiple listeners for multiple databases you can have one listener having serving the multiple databases so you can and to do that how we will do is like in the sid description you will you can see here this is the sid list so it actually takes multiple uh, oracle homes along with the database name so you can have multiple oracle home along with the database names and you can register you can register those instances with one listener now you can also register you can create multiple listeners and you can register and i'm <coughs> i'm going to show you that as well now if you in the dynamic registration you can also have one listener serving the multiple databases so you can add this particular entry in tns names aura and set the local listener to this particular parameter in all the databases so you can do this so this particular concept what i'm trying to show you is like how you can use the same listener for multiple databases and same using the static registration and same listener for multiple databases using dynamic registration so let's go ahead and see the tutorial so now i got two databases here so i got let's see ps minus ef grep pmon so i've got got two databases you can see there is a database called test there is a database called prod now here in one of the session so let me see what is this database so let me do host clear uh, show parameter name let's see what is this this is the prod database as you can see and if i run select show parameter local that should be blank so you can see local listener is blank now if i run the same in the second window so let's do the same thing and you can see it is a test database and then if i run the show parameter local again it should be blank so the local listener has not been set in either prod either test now if i try to connect to the listener let's see the status of the listener so i'm going to launch one more window and let's see the status of the listener so lsnr let's actually see what listener we got and uh, okay so i need to go into so let's i need to go into the oracle home network admin And you can see I have got one listener called listen22. So that's the only listener that I got. So if I do LSNR CTL uh, status listen22, it is now it is only the prod has been registered with the this particular uh, listener. And I, I think what I'm going to do is like I'm going to just stop and start that particular database. I was I was not expecting it to be registered, but I do not know why. It, it has self register so i'm going to start and stop so let's see yeah the so listener supports no services so the database has gone down and i believe it will not it will not register with itself now and i'm going to do stop and start of this as well so sometimes the old entries remains the old registration remains so now let's see the status of this one so supports no services and the database is the database okay so the database has not started up so i'm starting the database and give it a minute and then let's go and see status is so the, basically listener supports no services now what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how to how and both the databases are up so how and as of now lsnr ctl status listen 22 you can see that it this particular listener is not supporting both of the databases are up however no databases are registered with our listener 
And then what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to that listener.ara file and here I'm going to create an entry and the entry that I'm going to create is something like this. So what I'm saying is like with this listener, SID list listen 22, so I should say listen 22. And I'm just going to save this and then if I now take a look at this particular file, what I'm saying is like the both of these databases test and prod should register with listen 22. So now I have two options. I can start and stop or I can reload the listener. So LSNR CTL reload listen 22. So I'm doing that. That's done. Now let's take a look at the status. And you can see the prod is registered. The test is registered. So if I go remote, so this is the windows box. And if I exit, and if I say, and if I say SQL plus Oracle 192.168.1.101.1522 for the prod, and if I say select, give me the name of this database, I should be connected to the prod database. And then if I take exactly same command, 1522 is the listener. And if I take exactly same command, and if I put the test here, I should be also able to connect. And if I run this command, select name from V dollar database, it will give me the test database. So what we have done here is like using the same listener, you can see here 1522 and 1522. I'm able to connect to the prod database as well as 1522 to the prod database, 1522 to the test. And you can see here test and prod. So the static registration was done. And the way we did that, the way we did that is basically we created an entry and I'm going to show it to you one more time. So if I take a look at that entry, you can see the way I did it is I added the Oracle home and the seed name of both of the databases in the seed list, in the seed list listen 22. So the listen 22, 1522 is now listening to both of these databases. Now, what I could also, what I could have also done is like, I could have instead of, instead of having, what I could have done is like, I could have created multiple listeners and I'm going to show it to you. So let's stop this listener. And then once it is stopped, then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to VI that particular file. And the what I'm going to do now, I'm going to delete this entry here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this and I'm, I'm going to explain you what I'm what I'm trying to do. So I've, and I'm going to save this I'm I'm going to explain you slowly what I've done here. So let me get this particular file. And now you can see, let me, now you can see that I got listen 22 on port 1522 and list listen 22 is have prod and then another listener I created listen 23 and then it is on port 1523 and it has got tested database. So now I got, I created two listeners. One is with the port 1522 and I'm associating the prod database. And I created another listen, listener called listen23 with port 1523 and I've associated the test database. So now I'm going to start both of the listeners. So let's clear the screen. LSNR CTL start listen22 and this particular data, you can see it prod is registered with listen22. So port 1522. And now if I start the listen 23, the test will get registered. So the test is gotten, getting registered. So now if I go here and if I, the, we know that prod got registered. So if I now run this, it will, it works. And if I run the name of this database, we can see it will be prod. But if I, and if I exit from here, and if I clear this particular screen, and if I do the same 1522, you can see, Listener does not know because now test is not associated with 1522. It is actually associated with 1523. So now if I change this and if I change to 1523, you can see that I got connected. And if I run the select name from V dollar database, I should get the test database. So here, what I have, what we have done here is like we created two listeners. So listen 22, 
one is listener 22 one is listener 23 and we started both the listener one listener is listening to raw database one listening listener is listening to the test database so you can have you can have multiple listeners and you can have each database is listening on each of their listener now i don't recommend this particular solution you can read about it why it is not recommended i'm not going to go into that depth but i'm not going to recommend this solution i do not if it is a single nick and if you are using the different ports then i i do not there is no performance advantage or or anything with this configuration so i'm not going to recommend this particular solution now we have now what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove this uh, i'm going to clear this particular file and i'm going to remove the the uh, the static registration uh, so i'm going to just keep the listeners i'm going to keep the listeners I'm going to keep both of these listeners running. I'm going to stop one of the listener actually. I don't want that listener 23. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to uh, LSNR CTL stop. And I, in fact, I'll stop both of this because the, the for some reason. And I'll stop both of this. And then now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop and start the databases as well. Because sometimes the old registration remains. So I'm going to, sorry, there was a thing it won't work. Yeah, I'm going to start start and stop and I'm going to do this on test database as well. So I'm going to do the start and stop on both of the databases. That's done. So now what what and I'm going to, I'm going to start the listeners LSNR CTL and I'm going to start only one listener, which is listen 22. And then I'm going to say list LSNR CTL status listen 22 listener supports no services let's see the database is open the database is still getting open but even though the database will open it will still say the list listener and because we have removed you can see from the from the listener.aura we have removed the static registration so now we have got two listeners this is anyway shut down i have not started this and this is up however there is no static registration now what we are going to do now is i'm going to what we are going to do now is we are going to set create a dynamic registration to do the dynamic registration we will use the tns name there is another option i'm not going to go into that detail so i'm going to create this entry and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add this entry here sorry i'm going to add this entry here save it this is the tns name dot ara file and then what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to go and set the TN local listener parameter. I'm going to set the local listener. So this is the raw database. Sorry, show parameter test. Sorry, show parameter name, not even test. Show parameter name. So this is the raw database and this is the test database. And what I'm going to do, so what I'm going to do now is you can see there is a this is the prod database this is a test database the local listener would be blank so show parameter local listen it will be blank so and it's blank here so now the the if i try to connect using remote neither of that is going to work so if i so clear my databases are up however i will not be able to connect neither 1521 1523 anyway 1523 is shut down so we cannot connect using both of these listeners so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to set the local listener and i'm going to set the local listener for both of the database to exactly same parameter so that's done and that's done and now if I go back to the SQL developer and if I run 1522, you can see I'm connected. And here the 1523 is down. So if I use 1522, I'm, I will be connecting. So if I say select name from V dollar database, you can see I got connected to the prod database. And now for even using the 1522, so using 1522 for the test database, I got connected. And the reason why that happened is because I set the local listener to listener prod in both of the database. In the test database also, I set the local listener as the same. And in the 
prod database and this listener.prod the this listener.prod is actually pointing to 1522 and that is the reason why i was able to connect to the prod database on 1522 and the test database using 1522 now what if we had two different listeners and if i wanted to connect to the prod database on 1522 and test database on 1523 however using the dynamic registrations and that is also possible so what we are going to do now i'm going to start the second listener which is down so i'm going to say lsnr ctl start listen 23 so that's done and you can see listener supports no services because we just started it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to vi tns names dot aura and here i'm going to create another entry listener dot test and one five two three that's done so i'm creating this and here i'm going to say alter system set local listener is equal to listener underscore test scope is equal to both and then alter system register that's done and then if i now come to here and if i exit and if i run 1523 for the test i should be able to connect so you can see now so what is exactly happened here and i'm going to show it to you so now the test database is now registered with the 1523 so you can see i'm going to clear the screen so that you can see clearly so 1523 so 1523 test now and if i run the select name And you can see so 1523 test and 1522 prod and the way i did this is using the dynamic registration so i created an entry in tns names.aura so that is two entries in tns names.aura one is listener.prod one is listener.test one is 1522 one is 1523 so the listener.prod now it's pointing to the listener 1522 and the listener.test is pointing to 1523 and we use the dynamic registration so, so i wanted to make a point here you can have you can have multiple listeners and you can you can have you can have one listener listening to multiple databases you can have multiple listeners connecting you can have multiple listeners uh, and you can sorry <laughs> it's confusing so anyway let me repeat so you can have multiple listeners and you can have separate databases each database listening on a different listener you can have only one listener and you can have multiple databases you can have only one listener and you can have multiple databases on the same listener and you can use that concept using the static registration or dynamic registration doesn't matter what method you use both the methods support having multiple databases now what what and this is and the last thing that i wanted to explain and this is a bit confusing you can have multi same databases listening on multiple listeners you can do that okay so to do that what i'm going to do now is like uh so i'm going to uh so now both of the databases are statically registered dynamically registered so the, both of the databases are so you can see so what if i want the prod database so if i try to connect to the prod database on 1523 it's not going to work so now let's do the here so i'm going to exit and if i say if I say prod here, it will not working the listener name. So prod is working on 1522, but it will not work on 1523. So what if I want prod to work on 1522, prod to work on 1523 as well. So what I can do, I can use mix and match of this one, but I'll, I'll make it very simple. So what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to delete all of this. So I'm going to delete all of this. So remove TNS names or entry okay and i'm going to stop and start stop both the listeners i'm going to start fresh so that you know everything is started from fresh i'm going to clear that entry in the local listener parameter so i'm going to make it i'm going to reset it and uh, so that's resetted you can see alter system reset local listener that's done local listener is resetted and if i show you the parameter now it should be blank so okay so it's blank here it's blank here so i create clear the entry in the prod database 
and I create the clear the entry. So show name, show parameter name. So it's a prod database. Show parameter local listener. It is blank. The so same thing. Show parameter name for the test database and show parameter local listener for test database it is blank so you can see for the test database it is blank and for the prod database it is blank i have removed the tns names.ora file so ls minus l i have removed it and i the listener.ora file is there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to create a static registration and i could have done it with using the dynamic registration as well static registration dynamic registration i could have done this but i just wanted to show you simple way so what i wanted to show you is like you can have a same database listening on multiple ports you can do that why it is possible why would you do that that's a different story but anyway so what we will do now here is like we will create a static registration for this particular uh, listener for the prod database and for this particular listener we'll create static registration for prod and test so we'll do something like that so now let's do that so i'm going to add here so the 23 is going to listen on test and prod and 22 is only going to listen for prod so i'm going to do that Okay, so that's done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to LSNR CTL top. Sorry, it is already stopped. So I'm going to start the listeners, both of the listeners. So let's do one by one. So 22 start, and you can see that prod got associated with 22. And now when I start 23, you will see the magic. Okay, so there is some problem with the file. So I, I thought the magic will work. Yeah, I know what is the problem. I did not end it with the closing bracket, which I'm going to put it here for my mistake. Sorry about that. Came here. Okay, that's fine. So good. So I'm going to, yeah, so that's done. And you can see the listen 23 list or port 1523 is listening for prod and test. However, listen 22 is only listening for prod, which means now if I go here, I'm going to exit from here. And if I clear the screen and I'm going to exit from here and I'm going to clear the screen. Now, if I, if I connect to 1522 prod, that works. If I connect to 1523, for test, it works. So you can see test and I'm going to show you the names of database. Doesn't matter. It's not required, but still I'll show you. So V dollar database. 1522 prod works. 1523 test works. However, what, what also is going to happen and I'm going to show it to you is if I use 1522 for 1523 for prod, I'm able to connect. So now the same database, we are able to connect to the same database prod using port 1523 using port 1522. So what I've done here is like I have actually created the entries in my, I have created and this, as I told you, I could have done this using the static dynamic registration, but you can see what I've done here is like listen 22, the prod database has been registered with 1522. And the prod and test database is registered with 1523, which means the prod database, we can connect to the prod database on port 1522 and prod database on 1523. And we have seen here. So prod database 1522 and prod database on 1523, we were able to connect. So I hope you understood the, the complexities and more scenarios on how the TNS names, listener name, you can have multiple listeners, you can have one listener serving multiple databases, how to do it using static registration, how to do it using dynamic registration. I hope this particular tutorial was useful. If you do like the video, if you do like the channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in next tutorial. Bye-bye.